Attention gamers! I recently stumbled across a Reddit post from some dude who edges between Master and Challenger playing off meta shenanigans which is officially the one and only way I can enjoy this piss pit of a game so when I read that he will show how there are off meta bot laners you can use to climb to higher elos I got a massive brain boner thinking about how this man must be exactly like me except he probably wards and learns from his mistakes and climbs and gets girls in hell. So I went to his guide where the dude has clips rolling in the background of him dirty smurfing on big names like double lift pants are good for covering legs and reckless as he blows some big smoke by saying this i'm going to be placing kindred in the s tier for off meta bot laners to learn due to the bot lane meta being primarily engaged support you heard it here first this build makes kindred an s tier adc so let me reiterate the sauce that this trophy stacking chad uses to apparently make it work the core build is essence reaver into shield bow which gives you that hop and bop sheen burst while granting you that monogana make you a sustainable ghost fetish goat shepherd effect while shield bow keeps you in that bottled fart of a pet kicking long enough to get some good work done then if you don't like magic you can get witty or you can just autopilot to infinity and finish off with standard adc items the runes consist of conqueror so the prolonged hop fests on your immortal dance floor make you a healy hard hitting ba ba black sheep while triumph lets you celebrate small wins by not immediately getting murdered bloodline puts the sus in sustain and last stand because you're an edging death fetish freak when it comes to ulting at low health and resolve runes because you have low a shit piss range and will be getting poked more than a cadaver the main backseater bullshit around why this won't work is because of the kindred mark system but our chad challenger trophy collecting champ explains that stack spawns aren't random and are sometimes harder to get as a jungler than being bought with two little chimps around in lane to get you to that precious fourth stack and let me tell you i was more gassed than a honda lawn mower knowing that i could mark Mark this three wise men Mormon cosplaying Shepherd Soraka then dive into tower like there was a springboard attached kill the sleuth then ult to decline her offer to make it a trade so let's get into this S tier ADC kindred gameplay. Now in game 1 you will see a man who overcame Yasuo syndrome which reminded me that I and a few chads have a project to help promote good mental health at this game and our current world work hard to break down so cue the helium footage of the boys I got. God when are your balls gonna drop guys omega lol now anyways not to be a hypocrite by playing league right after promoting mental health but game 1 starts and I am informed that Jennifer has 1.9 million mastery which is a good match for my 1.9 minutes on kindred so some may be surprised the D got off to an early start against K and A but things started to get heated when their support Sally swollen hands comes in on a damn mission to sucker punch a small wizard and I'm not about that so I order my pollution pal to nipple at her stone tits and then I follow her flash with a little hop and dash and then I reunite with the fleeing fairy breeder in her quest to evade Mr. Counton from sending her to fountain as I deploy the immortal dance floor and say fear no more, of him saying for, as he then craps his pants the stench of which attracts my pet to swarm that ass till he hands me a wad of cash. Then I find Lava Lamp Gin alone while Vi is out on the impossible task of shopping for mittens so I test the burst potential a bit which felt oh so naughty until the mall cop reminds me I'm still a marksman and I get bounced around like a useless dead duck on a trampoline full of fat kids but she still ends up Lou losing her life as well. So I sprint my little upright sheep legs back to lane for revenge as I tell Mr. Emily that he better leave before I count to three thinking he'll understand the reference but he doesn't so I murder his ass while I continue my quest to prove that playing for vision in this piss pit of a lane is stupid as every time I see that butch cut metal coochie puncher off doing support things I let my pet ghastly off the leash which I know Jin freaking hates only for me to get connect the dots dashed on giving this super experienced ADC enough confidence to stay in the get pissed on zone. I then conduct my eulogy by requesting the ground give us everlasting life unlike the man who is failing to keep it taco as falcon punch feminine edition gets away with like 6 calories worth of health and this attracts their jungling windshitter to our lane as I'm laughing my ass off ready to get free content for Yasuo syndrome episode 87 so I ping let's go and expecting my support to turn that ponytailed punk into a platypus but no such luck on that paired with me staring a tornado in the face and saying hi and guess who became a dead bitch there and long story short these two were looking to piss on the pixie pussy as our top laner is like there's no better time 
time than 15 seconds after the right time to TP and so Wanda gets wiped and I'm thinking this goon with the gales is about to get gotted but clearly he has been doing push-ups in his bedroom in front of Yasuo syndrome posters every night until he appears to be capital F fuck so I pan away to be base birth waiting for Rift Alexa to oh so familiarly say a windshitter has died only for me to look back a few seconds later and feel like I'm on set at a damn pan and tell her magic show because dress me up and color me fooled on how the rotten kitten piss that dude survived that. Anyways I eventually reunite with white tights to ask him if there is any presence of a brain under that pink fluffy overpowered head of stripper hair as we chase like the true silvers hoping to attract the dashing deuce who is both marked and worth 700 gold but I said you know what's better than 700 gold? 800 gold beach and then I start to piece together that this gin only has so many mastery points because he literally is too stupid to know that there is more than one champion you can play in this game as his bad decisions begin to ripple I get rewarded the triple which gives me a quite hard nipple but enough talk about Ariel as this isn't my second channel rav rambles hashtag useless plug because that channel is permanently monetized anyway I had a plan to execute and that plan was called let two morons see me enter a bush and then wait for their goldfish caliber memories to forget I was there allowing me to pop out like Dave Chappelle and say gotcha bitch. gotcha bitch but it's worth noting that my allies died as they are worse at their jobs than a celibate hooker which results in me doing my best Jason Bourne impersonation patiently waiting for my mid lane Annie to wake up smell the roses and realize their fucking ribbon has been paying rent down south for six straight minutes but she introduces her big titty teddy at a bad time and the awkward tension literally kills me then because their team has as many factory recalls as ours we somehow get an uncontested dragon while also catching angle last not sped airbender peeping and he may be the literal rift exception but luckily for us he still can't say no to ratchet pussy and after a long pursuit where I had almost as little impact as Lulu he falls victim to the horny thornies. And after a little fickle self-deliberation I deem Riven a bad mark given she leaned against Annie who I now understand has three brain cells and they all speak different languages so ADC is always the safe bet instead and I don't know if other people who play Kindred feel this way but seeing that marked target tied up and vulnerable have my little weird ASMR voice line shepherd penis so engorged with caffeinated blood you could get secondhand aroused just by being in my mere presence as I earned a KS that returned a natural fleshy hue to my previously blue balls. Then I catch Riven pathing worse than a horse and buggy claiming to come with self-driving so I volunteer myself as the bouncy ball again but this time thanks to Lulu shoving a chia pet up my asshole and feeding it enough water to lube up the entire Sahara desert I survive and Riven does not. Then we take tower and wave to the windshitter as I unload my entire kit into his curtain of carbon before whipping out my popcorn because I have tickets to this documentary called Riot Games, 200 years of collective game design it'll be okay just buy our sentinel skins, working title. And a minute later when I see that Thanos Stan all alone I run and planning to be cringily cheeky and say something like wanna get handsy but she loser lunges into tower so I inform her that sticks and stone statues may break my bones but being swelled up like a wet maxi pad won't hurt me and neither will the rest of their team coming down to kill me. But I've gotta say maybe trophy man Trulu challenger Chad was onto something because being an ADC with the power to make dumb decisions then look death in the eyes and say no thanks I would rather hop around on this suspiciously glowing circle until all the the red bars get removed while my green bar remains the same if not bigger is pretty dank as we slay until all that was left was he who yells hasagi and long story short I end up passing on that gas in favor of feeding my little floating fart some kale because the floating fart vet said he needs more veggies in his diet that's a play on words but speaking of kale every time she hit her death is overrated button I would just hit mine and by the grace of cool ranch doritos things always ended up working out for me. And I can't really comment on what the goat piss the rest of my team was doing but I was applying more pressure than a migraine until eventually my little pixie shit support joined me and played with us long enough to become a casualty of second hand wind shitter which later on provoked me to do my best Jesus Christ impersonation which turns out Yas is an atheist and won't listen to that shit so he pieces out and I resurrect with the unyielding desire call it an itchy asshole urge to get revenge on this ribbon. Then things are looking good for us. Infernal soul has been consumed so we bow to have some flaming hot Cheetos breath moving forward until we get presented with the opportunity to star as the morons who got wamboed in a cinetic montage so despite me thinking I have a counter to our collective chromosome deficiencies we get fat aced, well aced in the sense that all potentially useful players on my team are dead as I wonder what in the literal spoiled high school girl cringe voice fuck was going on in this sex ants head as this afk antic was a theme all game and we lose to what I am embarrassed to say was a good Yasuo player as the damage charts confirm my suspicion that Evelyn was indeed playing with her feet. Sequel coming soon? 
Rav out. Don't fuck with Rabbi boy, I'm in your crib with the blappy boy. Talk to me slick and I'm popping your pappy. If happy talk back, then I'm taking your Grammy and boy, oh boy, I'll make her happy. Let's go.